I'm Marisa Christian here with IB Times TV. It is the very first day of the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in Manhattan, and we were just backstage talking to Tadashi Shoji, a man known for his celebrity clientele, but more importantly, his line of stunning dresses. Now, we got a sneak peek at the Fall 2012 collection. Now it's your turn to check it out. Tadashi Shoji took Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week 2012 attendees to another era. In the middle of Manhattan, Fashion Week guests felt like they had been swept away to another time and place. They entered Shanghai in the 1930s, surrounded by Chantilly lace, chiffon, high necks, cap sleeves, tears, velvet and embroidery. Shoji's stunning myriad of luxurious pieces seemed never ending. The palette for the fall 2012 collection was drenched in jewel tones like marina and seagrass, balanced by softer colors like ginseng and hazel. Shoji told me he's normally inspired by architecture and nature, but this time his vision was based on Marlene Dietrich in the 1932 film Shanghai Express and the golden age of Shanghai cinema, leaving the models with a bright red pout. Uh, yeah, because it was so long time we never put the le uh, red lips and the red na nail polish, so this time it's, we did, uh, so it's surprise, surprise, and sleek hair, and it's beautiful face. The simple yet elegant look left a mark on those watching the show, but it made things a little bit harder on the hair and makeup staff backstage. Models wore their hair in sleek loops by Rodney Cutler. So Tadashi explained his inspiration with Marlene Dietrich and he said um, we might have a little red lip going on back here. So what do we have? There's a lot of red lip. So when you've got a lot of red lip and a lot of clothes, the hair needs to play, play it down. So I'm going to keep the hair really simple. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be way too busy. So a beautiful silhouette, um, pulled to strong part, pulled to one side. And rather than the chignon or a bun, which we've seen so much, we're doing a roll just to sort of, you know, just confuse everybody. <laughs> then what we do is you make one side just ruffle it up, and that sort of gives that little editorial. Tadashi's clothes are very glamorous, so if it's too serious, the hair it can just look a little too much. So young, youthful, strong silhouette, and very simple. Tadashi Shoji is a bona fide genius. Born and raised in Sendai, Japan, he began painting and drawing at a very young age. His artistic talent blossomed and he eventually transitioned from fine art to high fashion. The fashion house Tadashi Shoji was established in 1982 and the rest is history. While Shoji's dresses always impress the masses, at the end of the day it's his business and his livelihood. So this year there's been a lot of enthusiasm from Japanese and Chinese buyers and consumers. Any coincidence that you've been inspired by the golden age of Shanghai for this collection? As, uh, and also we are opening a store in April in Shanghai and July in Beijing. So two store, our, you know, Tarashioji stores. So I think because of that one also, I think maybe inside of my mind is maybe business-wise, I think maybe that kind of it, moody kind of Shanghai and the valley. It's uh, like a gorgeous opulent feeling if I capture that, I think they may feel happy, I think. So that's also maybe stuck in the behind of my <laughs> business side of brain, I think, <laughs> yes. His designs have caught the eye of Hollywood A-listers, including Katy Perry, Kelly Osbourne, Blake Lively, Beyonce, and Helen Mirren. Can we expect to see any of your pieces on the red carpet for the Oscars this year? Oh, jinx. If I named, I think, the day before, they may not, they may not wear. So I cannot say. Just cross the finger. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> don't want don't to don't test your luck. Shoji's Fall 2012 collection was the perfect way to kick off Fashion Week, but the huge event takes its toll on everyone fighting to make sure the show goes off without a hitch. And you said you've worked with him before. How much preparation really goes into Fashion Week? How much? It's a lot. I mean, and, and the adrenaline, you know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm happy the way the hair's coming out at the moment, but until that last girl walks out, um, you know, you always have that edge. Yeah, and, and, and if you lose that, it's time to give up. I know it's a cliche, but it's really true. You know, walking over my assistant, I was like, because I was like, you all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. You're just on edge, you know, and, and it's a big deal. This is the designers' lives, their careers, all of us. It's not just a job, it's our life. And um, so it's really important, you know, so it's special. <laughs> Stay tuned to catch more footage live on the floor with IB Times TV at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. I'm Marisa Christian with IB Times TV.